there are some movies which you can enjoy only if you are a child at heart and there are some movies which you can enjoy only if you are a bit sentimental frozen 2 is a disney animated musical movie which means it is mainly focused on kids but if you are in the theater no matter how old you are you are going to love it hello namaskar welcome so hello namaskar hello na yeah it's been ringing in my head there's this voice voice what does that mean you try getting it out of your head hello namaskar welcome swagatam you are with the versatile doctor my name is dr abhinav atul and today we will talk about frozen 2 the sequel to the unexpected smash hit frozen so frozen 2 carries forward the story of the arendel sisters Elsa and Anna along with them for the ride are Olaf the snowman Sven the reindeer and Kristoff the first thing you wonder is whether this movie is as good as Frozen the original the answer is simply no Frozen wasn't merely a musical which won millions of hearts with its let it go song let it go let it go can hold it back any it had a unique premise which broke down the traditional definitions of true love's kiss and hero to the rescue the bond between the sisters is the only thing that is carried forward from frozen to its sequel olaf who was the lovable comic relief in the original movie is here in the sequel as a repetition of himself without much to do is the whole putting us in mortal danger going to be a regular thing <laughs> The chemistry between Kristoff and Sven which was endearing in the first movie is here more or less as a dull repetition of itself. The storyline of how past deeds catch up with the present is not too deep and that is expected as it is a kids movie. What carries Frozen 2 is the unmistakable dynamic these two sisters share. Get out of there. You can't just follow me into fire. Then don't run into fire. And obviously the amazing music and spectacular visuals. No nothing can reach the heights of let it go but Edina Menzel shines again mostly in into the unknown and show yourself the two core songs of this movie there's a funny recap of the entire story of frozen narrated and acted by Olaf one of the most comical points of this movie i think it would have served better in the first act of the movie the trolls are used sparingly which is good Elsa There are two songs in the movie which could have easily been cut off in favor of adding a few minutes of gravity into the climax. One of them features Olaf and the other one Kristoff and his reindeer. In fact the character of Kristoff is even more redundant than Olaf. But a movie such as this can be forgiven for a bit of mediocrity because in this quest in this adventure at one end there is the mystery behind the powers of Elsa and then there is the character and strength of Anna this duo elevates the entire movie to another level when they are interacting together as well as when they are apart in frozen 2 the chemistry between Elsa and Anna are not dependent on the songs only the girls have grown up as has the voice acting talent behind the animations and while we are talking about the amazing edina menzel there is much to be said about kristen bell too in fact the duo of edina and kristen work well in songs as well as as characters there was a scene in frozen where anna had done her ultimate act of true love where she had sacrificed herself protecting her sister anna had frozen only to thaw a few minutes later in frozen 2 There is a similar scene but the impact of freezing and thawing was missing altogether. Another issue which I have with this movie is with this character. I won't spoil what creature is this and why is it in the movie and there is no doubt that this creature is absolutely cute and it will sell millions and millions of toys. But the moment I saw it it reminded me of Pascal. Do you remember Pascal from Tangled? Anyway, the entire movie is filled with beautiful scenery, beautiful art, beautiful animations, and it stands its ground as a musical too. And those of you who have listened to the entire album before watching the movie, 
please bear in mind that this same music as it appears in the movie is far more energetic and impactful than how you feel listening to it on your headphones. So all in all it is a very good, very enjoyable movie. Definitely not up to the level of Frozen. Still one of the best animated movies to come out this year. Remember this movie is mainly focused on kids but still there is a lot of fun and a lot of enjoyment to be had for adults as well. I'll give Frozen 2 six and a half thumbs ups out of 10. What do you think? Do let me know your thoughts. Have you watched Frozen 2 yet? Or are you planning to watch it on the weekend with your family? No matter how you feel about this movie, I am 100% certain that Elsa and Anna's adventures would continue and Disney will soon announce another sequel. If you have liked this video, please do share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with me. As usual, I am looking forward to your feedback in the comment section. You were with the Versatile Doctor. This is Dr. Abhinav Atul signing off. It is my pride and privilege to be able to connect with you through this video. Namaskar.